Lesson 9, Halves and Quarters. Part 1, Fill in the Blanks. Question 1, a dash shows part of a whole. We all know the correct answer that is fraction. Question 2, in a fraction, the number written above the horizontal line is called numerator. Correct. Question 3. Dash tells us total number of equal parts in the whole. Denominator. Question 4. Fractions that have different denominators are called Unlike fractions. Two by twelve and five by twelve are dash fractions here. In the first fraction also, twelve is the denominator. Second fraction also, twelve is the denominator. So the denominators are same. So, these fractions are called like fractions. Question 6. A fraction is called a unit fraction when its numerator is 1. Question 7. How many quarters will make a whole? How many quarters will make a whole? Correct. Four quarters. Part 2. Right, true or false. Question 1. The fraction with the numerator 6 and denominator 15 is 6 by 15. Yes, it's true. Question 2. One fourth of the whole is called a quarter. Yes, exactly. So it is true. Question 3. 3 by 5 and 3 by 10 are like fractions. Is it true or false? It is false because in the denominators of the fractions, Five and ten are there. If the denominators are different, those fractions are called unlike fractions. So, this is false. Number three. Part three. Identify as like and unlike fractions. Question one. Seven by eleven. Two by eleven. Here, if you see, if you check the denominators, here, in both the fractions, the denominators are 11 only. So, these fractions are like fractions. Like fractions. Yes, in the second question, if you check the denominators, 8 and 14, they are different numbers. So, these are unlike fractions. Unlike fractions. Question 3. The denominators are 3 and 15 which are different. So, we can say unlike fractions. Part 4. What part of the whole is colored? Write below each shape. How to write the fraction for the given shaded shapes? Actually, first we have to start to count the total parts in each. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, in the denominator, 6 parts are there. 
how many are shaded one and two so two on the numerator so the fraction is two by six similarly for the remaining shapes also here totally six parts are there and then four parts are shaded in the next picture totally eight parts are there among those eight two are shaded so two by eight is the correct fraction in the next picture totally eight parts are there eight equal parts are there among those eight six six parts are shaded so six by eight is the correct fraction part five solve the following Question one: What is part A? One fifth of twenty-five. Let's solve one by one. The first one, A part. Step one is, as we learnt in the class, what is the given number that is twenty-five? That you have to write it first, and then divided by. What is the denominator that you write? So twenty-five divided by five is equal to. Now we have to recall fifth table. In the fifth table, when are you getting twenty-five? Five fives are twenty-five, isn't it? So five is the answer here. So one by five of twenty-five is Equal to five. Question B: Two third of a day. Yes, one day is how many hours? One day equal to twenty-four hours. Yes, here the step one. First step is we can rewrite the question actually first. So two third of instead of a day we can write twenty four. So in the first step twenty four is to be divided by the denominator of the given fraction that is three. So in the third table, in the third table when are we getting twenty four? Three eights are twenty four. So the answer is eight here. That eight should be multiplied by the numerator of the given fraction. The numerator is two here, so eight two is sixteen. So two third of twenty four or a day is equal to sixteen. Hours. Now, question C. Question C. Seven twelve of an hour. In minutes, we have to give the answer. So, seven twelve. Seven twelve of an hour. An hour. So, one hour equal to. How many minutes? Sixty minutes. Yes. So instead of we can rewrite the question as seven by twelve of sixty minutes. So here we can write sixty divided by twelve. In the twelfth table, when are we getting sixty? Twelve fives are sixty. So the answer is five. So sixty divided by twelve equal to five. In the next step, we have to multiply this five with the numerator seven. So seven fives are thirty-five minutes. Thirty-five minutes is the correct answer. Now question B. 
one fourth of one liter in milliliters they are asking. So one fourth of one liter. Here one liter equal to one thousand ml. That is milliliter. So we can rewrite the equation as one by four of one thousand. So which is equal to one thousand divided by four, which is equal to C. When the thousand ml is splitted into four equal parts, we will get each as two fifty ml. So the answer is two fifty ml. As the numerator is one, one by four of one liter. One liter is. Equal to two fifty ml. Question two: One kg of onion price is rupees ten. How much of this onion will I get for rupees ten? Children, it is really a very interesting question because answer is there in the question itself. So, how much onion we can get for rupees ten? Exactly one kg onion because one kg onion's price is rupees ten only. Here, question three. There are sixty blocks and three by four are green in color. How many blocks are not green? That we have to calculate. Let's write the first statement. Number of blocks is equal to sixty. Second, we have to calculate number of green color blocks. That we have to find out. How to find out from the given data? Okay, there are there is one fraction given that is three by four blocks are green. So three by four of sixty. That we have to calculate. First, sixty divided by four. Let's do the division of sixty divided by four. So by using fourth table, one four star four subtract two will be the answer. Bring zero down. So in the fourth table, we are getting twenty. When four five star twenty and subtract, we will be getting zero as a reminder. So here the answer is fifteen. The step is not over. Still we have to. Multiply this answer fifteen with the numerator of the given fraction. Numerator is three here, so fifteen threes are fifteen threes are forty five from the fifteenth table. Or <coughs> so if you don't remember the fifteenth table, we can directly calculate fifteen into three. So five threes are fifteen. Carry over one. One three is a three. Three plus one four. So forty five. Forty five blocks are green in color. Totally. So number of green blocks are forty five here. Now we have to calculate how many blocks are not green. So number of blocks which are not green should be find by subtracting this forty five. From sixty, so we can calculate sixty minus forty-five. So cut and borrow ten, five. Ten minus five is five. Five minus one is four is one. So the answer is fifteen. So fifteen blocks are fifteen blocks. Are not green. Here, question four. 
if the cost of 1 kg orange is rupees 40 what is the cost of half kg of oranges dear children when the quantity is reduced to half means the price also will be reduced to half but still we can able to do the calculation here half kg of so half of 40 so half of 40 is equal to 40 divided by 2 which is equal to 20 so rupees 20 half kg of oranges equal to half kg of oranges cost of cost of half kg of oranges is equal to rupees 20 correct